Другий. Позиція. Footage is released by the 110th Mechanized Brigade, which shows the targeting of a Russian Su-25 fighter by man pads in the Donetsk region. Другий. Позиція 2024 року. Ракета пішла за ціллю. Ukraine also lost a plane, a Su-25, located at an airport which was targeted before, close to the front. A big mistake if you ask me if you know Russian recon drones roam free over there, unless as a decoy, of course. On June 9th, a missile strike targeted Russian utility buildings in Central Noye, Rakitiansk district, Bilharad region, 30 kilometers from the Sumy region border. The buildings stored engineering equipment and ammunition for the north group of troops. The attack, carried out using two HIMARS MLRS missiles, resulted in the destruction of five Ural 4320 vehicles and one BTR 82 AM with two additional Ural 4320s damaged. Approximately 5,000 units of engineering ammunition, including TM-62, PMN-2, MON-50, OZM-72, and TNT checkers, were lost due to the missile strike and secondary detonations. Yes. Tears of the Russian soldier. My legs can't move, and I really want to live. We'll give up. We'll surrender. That's it. Oleg Veznin from the 83rd Air Assault Brigade of the Russian Army told how difficult it is for the Russians at the front. Three days without food, without water. I'm very thirsty, he complains. The wounded commander remained with him, and the third soldier left behind, he probably died. Near the place where they are now, there were five wounded and four more dead Russians. Veznin, together with a wounded commander with the call sign Butcher, is going to surrender in order to live at least a little longer. Smart decision. Several URL and Kamaz trucks with supplies for Russian troops were destroyed by units from the 3rd Separate Assault Brigade. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen announced at the Ukraine Reconstruction Conference that 1.5 billion euros of income from Russian assets will be confiscated in July. Additionally, the EU will provide Ukraine with 1.9 billion this month under the Ukraine Facility Program. And now we are making it happen in line with international law and while ensuring stability of financial markets. Around 1.5 billion euros from the windfall profits will become available in July. 90% of these funds will go to defense, 10% to reconstruction. And later this week, at the G7 summit, we will further discuss how Ukraine can benefit even quicker and even more from the proceeds of the mobilized Russian assets. We have always said My friends, we have always said that Russia must be held accountable for its crimes and now we make Russia pay. Kharkiv is Europe. Ukraine is Europe. And our union is your home. Slava, Ukraine. Long live Europe.
NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg confirmed that NATO intends to invest 40 billion euros annually in military support for Ukraine. This will be discussed at the upcoming summit in the U.S. Ukraine expects positive decisions regarding the transfer of two or three Patriot air defense systems in the near future, Zelensky said during a joint press conference with German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius. Russia's got no chance. American film director and producer Doug Lyman told the story of his visit to the east of Ukraine. He was amazed to meet an elderly woman who kept Molotov cocktails in her woodshed in case of a meeting with the Russians. Ukraine's not going to stop till they win. I mean, I, I, I met, um, coming back from the front two years ago, um, I was with a, a GRU, a squad from the GRU, and, and they, one of the, the commanders wanted to stop and check in on his mother-in-law, and she was uh, in a small town, you know, a few hours east of here. And she shows me in her woodshed that she's got two cases of Molotov cocktails. And this woman's a grandmother. And I'm sort of asking, like, that I think they look like Molotov. I'm like, what, what are those? I'm gesturing. And she sort of gestures back to me. The Russians come down her street. She's throwing these Molotov cocktails at them. And I thought, you know, like, Russia's got no chance if grandma's got two cases of Molotov cocktails in her woodshed. Russian warships and nuclear submarines have arrived in Cuba. Russia will hold military exercises on the borders of the United States, and the construction of a Russian military and naval base is not excluded. The passage of a Russian flotilla was followed closely by P-8s, an RC-135 trainer, a Canadian P-3. The Russian flotilla included the Admiral Gorshkov frigate, fleet oil tanker Pashin, rescue tug Nikolai Chikor, and nuclear-powered sub Kazan. Most P-8s are training from Jacksonville and other air bases up to two P-8s and a Canadian P-3, as well as a few CASA 295s, were tasked to follow the naval grouping. An RC-135 rivet joint trainer as HAU VR-31 set up a coastal racetrack. Additionally, four of L-3 Harris's fleet of communications showed up to learn more about Russia's capabilities. A USF-5 showed up over Key West, its origin are unknown. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.